you love plenty of games that I love. You love the Souls games. I love the Souls games. It's not always true-ish. You're making me sad. Read. Big thanks to the additional fun founding members of Outer Wilds Ventures, without whom we would never have gotten off the ground. Matthew Steinhauer. Ben Ether Etherington. Quarty you the pie. Jordan Frith. What are these? Are these backers? Backers. Yeah. Outer Wilds Ventures founding members clockwise from top left. Hornfelds, Gossen, Slate, and Feldspar. Looking good. Outer Wilds Ventures Timber Hearth's first and only space program was founded and to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Feldspar was the first Hearthian to be internationally launched into space. They completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Adel Rock. All right. Ish, why would you make Ken sad? <laughs> he hated Hades. Uh, I don't hate Hades. Let's rewind. Wait a second. Let's rewind. I don't hate Hades. I respect Hades. Hades is, is, is a great game, and I understand why it's great. It's not... Hades is not a game... Like, I would play Hades. I would go back and play Hades. It's not a game I disliked for any particular reason or another. It just, uh, it just wasn't a game that I was, like, into playing at the time. You know? I can see why it's great. I can see why. He hates me. I don't hate you! You guys are gonna make me cry. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the Translator Tools Inaugural Flight 2. I'm so excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any Know My Text you want, anywhere. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? <laughs> oh, geez, no, do not break it. Ugh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. And all, and I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Good, you've only been waiting for this day since you were a hatchling. I can't wait to see all your training pay off. So, what's the dirt? Uh, you here to see the new Nomai statue? New statue? You haven't heard? Gabbro brought it back with him from Giant's Deep, and Hornsfeld just finished prepping it for display. Uh, this is it right here. Neat, huh? Makes me wish we could see all that real life Nomai looks like. What a real life Nomai looks like. But I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. The first fully intact statue ever found, you know. And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, oh, jeez. I got a little carried away there. Go on. Have a, sh uh, have a ship lunch. Take care of yourself out there. Awesome, Hal. Thanks so much, dude. Okay, so this is a Nomai. They're pretty majestic looking, really. The, this remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with the most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appeared to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their, art, although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where their species came from or what happened to them. The Reapers. That's what happened. So much hate, right? Why is everybody... Why is everybody hating everybody else around here? I love everybody. You're all beautiful. Hey, Ken, have you noticed how many eyes you've got yet? Two? Four, three, what? Carl, is that like some sort of existential question? This piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering the unique language. Although this text is linear, Nomad text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Whoa, what is this? Cassava, we're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished constructing, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Wait, what? F 
Felix. Fortunately, the Adderlock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Whoa! Okay, so they write like that. That's crazy cool. Okay, okay. What's this? Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated somewhere else in the universe and simply had variant immig imagination or, or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in our solar system, or were they born among other stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further xenologic, xenoarchaeological, xenoarchaeological expo expeditions. I'm good at reading, I promise. Honestly, though, I hope this game grabs you the way it did me. I thought it was genuine masterpiece and wish I could experience it for the first time again. That's what Dra that's what Dragoon said. Dragoon said the same thing. I can't wait now. Like this game, I'm already hyped. He told you I had the translator tool, so you're the first one who can read the ancient gnome, gnome writings. This might come in handy later. Oh, yes. Yes, so that's what this is. The translator tool. Will it always automatically come up? Because that would be awesome. What is this about, though? I think Dylan loves it, too. Interesting. Wait, I saw Dylan playing this, I think. Uh, what you see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers and quite unusually only three eyes. Crawl, you're going to have to explain that eye thing to me. Fair warning, be very careful about spoilers and backseating. Oh, okay. Should I turn off... Hey, the other guy. Should I turn... Uh, so right now, so in general, for those of you who don't know, here... Uh, wait a second. The channel generally... The channel generally is okay with backseating as long as, like, no story content is revealed and stuff like that. If you're just trying to give me a tip about, like, uh, how to do something, I'm usually okay with that. But if it's gonna ruin the game, um, maybe we should take the, the tag off for backseating, the backseating is allowed. Yeah, don't watch other people playing. The joy of exploration is everything. Yeah, I've not watched anything. I've seen other people playing the game, but I've not watched them actually play it. I've not actually watched them play it. Also, other guy, thank you for uh, checking out the channel. I hope you're having a great day, dude. And thanks for that tip. The trick to this game is relax, explore everything, and think about the implications. Think about the implications. Ralzar, how's it going, my dude? Yeah, great. Do okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Hello. it takes. Hello? It's me. It's me. I'm gonna get DMCA'd for that, that clip right there. But that's okay. I'll just take it off if that happens because I'm pretty sure it will. Excited to see you start this. Dylan, what's up, dude? There's Dylan, yeah. I tend to sometimes give tips about the actual tools you have, mostly because streamers tend to forget stuff in the tutorials, having to handle the whole streaming thing at the same time. Yes, I think, so here's the thing. I think that all that stuff is fine, Ralzar. Tips about, like, um, tools and shit like that, I think that will be very helpful. Yes. But if any if any spoilers or anything, like, like if, if if you say in your, in your head for just, like, a second, like, would this be a spoiler, like... Would this potentially be a spoiler? Then just don't say it, you know? Then just don't even say it in chat. Remember that you have the flashlight? Yeah. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to the puzzle as we explore our solar system. What was the... There we go. Yeah, flashlight. What's this? The Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds Ventures allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the Little Scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. 
This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. Yeah, I imagine. That would that that would come in handy. Okay, okay. What do we got here? This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Whoa! What? Oh, shit. I'm gonna puke. Oh my god. That's insane. Blah. Wow. Alright. Alright. Space. Oh, what is that? That does not look friendly. That's an anglerfish right there. This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Let's start at the beginning here. Let's start at the very beginning. Also, I think that uh, if this game was in VR and I tried it, I would throw up. It seems like that's probably highly likely burning. That, you know what? I bet. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if the dev team was like working on this game and then uh, they tried out? That do you think that there's a build out there somewhere? Where they they tried out VR and somebody was just like, somebody on the dev team was like, we can't do this. Everybody's gonna vomit. There is a VR mod. Oh god. Oh god. Hey Fred, how are you? Welcome to the channel, Fred. VR would be fun. Would it though? I tried RE7 VR once in a friend's and I couldn't even get into the house before I got the sweats. I don't have any VR stuff. Maybe I should get a VR headset. Does anybody have the index? That's the one that looks like the most capable to me for some reason. Read. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. Starts to contract. Contract. As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. We're learning real shit here, chat. Pay attention. If the star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Chert's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Real talk, that will one day be the fate of our sun, chat. Hopefully a long time in the future, but hey. What's this about? Read. Watch closely. These balls move on their own. Those aren't the only ones. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the Adelrock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. That's pretty cool. Vicky, what's going on? How are you doing? I mean, if you really want to toss chunks, load up Elite Dangerous. Oh, God. And then go into a tailspin. Does Elite Dangerous have VR support? Ish, you did Skyrim VR? It made you sweat and feel dizzy. I wonder how I would react to VR, because I don't get car sick, right? I don't get car sick. Do people who have trouble with VR, do they also have trouble on like roller coasters and cars on long trips and stuff? Uh, regarding the back seating allowed tag, the community of this game is generally wholesome and appreciates the experience and how it can be ruined by back seating, puzzle hints, spoilers, etc. 
Uh, we'll be here if you need us, but I think swapping the tag to no back seating for this game in particular would be beneficial. Okay. Or maybe I'll just take it off. I just won't put... I just won't put the... I would just won't put a back seating tag on and see what happens. Let's do that. There. There we go. We'll just do that. I'll take off the back seating tag altogether and we'll see how it goes. Actually, our sun will go to red giant, then collapse to white dwarf. It's too small to supernova. Oh, I didn't know that. I know I knew that our sun was pretty small comparatively, Fred, but I didn't know that. That's interesting. Uh, isn't it unlikely our star will go nova? It'll have an expansion period engulfing the Earth, but after a blow off, it'll just become like a brown dwarf. Interesting. You guys know way more about this shit than I do. And that's okay. I don't get car sick, thank God, but I do have trouble with 3D and VR. Okay, so that, that breaks my theory then, Vicky. That breaks my theory. I thought that maybe they were connected, but I guess not. Taking off the ta tag is just as well. Backseating allowed seems to encourage it. Okay. Yeah. Do you ever take mints or something to suck? It helps. I heard that, uh... I heard that, um... Uh... Like, um ginger like ginger chews sometimes help people don't worry you won't be around for our son to show up yeah no a lot of other shit will happen will humanity will destroy itself before that ever happens be the man whoa oh that is cool Wow. That was cool. Hey, Moosler. I'm enjoying it so far. I like all the lore and shit that you have uh, that you get before you take off here. It's, uh, it's really cool. I'm looking forward to it. The, uh... The, um... The anti-gravity and low-gravity stuff that I've done already. Just the training. Seems really interesting. I'm excited to uh, I'm I'm excited to see where it's going. That's for sure. Welcome to the channel, guys. Everyone, welcome. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. I really appreciate it. My name is Kinmar, and I stream Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern time, Eastern Daylight time right now. I guess uh, every single weekday. Give me one second, you guys. There's some shit happening over here. What is this? Go away. All right. Uh, I just generally do all the driving now. So if I look down, feeling sick is the least of my worries. Yeah, my wife has really, really bad uh, car sickness as well-ish. So so if we go anywhere, for the most part, unless she's sleeping, uh, she's got to be driving. She's got to be driving. What about my face, Vicky? Is there something on my face? Is there something on my face? Miss a room downstairs. Thank you. That's see. That's good information. I will go look. That's good information. Okay, not that room. This room. Thank you. What is this? The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. That's like those quarks, right? In actual science, where like, if you observe them, they, they don't do something. But the second you stop observing them, they like, move or some shit like that? I, I can't remember what they're called. There's something in actual science where if it is being observed, even by a camera, it doesn't react. And it doesn't do anything. But it, the second that it is not being observed, it 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 does something. I forget what that is. I read about that. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion. What was that, Yappy? Who just? Ralzar, thank you so much for the follow, dude. I really appreciate it. Um, let's see. 
The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabbro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. Whatever that means. Yes! This is exactly like what I was talking about. Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. What's up, other guy? Uh, you can... You can know the particle's position or velocity, but not both. Oh, this game generally leans on real science, just makes it smaller or bigger. Yeah. Interesting. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. Seems creepy. Ah! That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right. You can know a particle's position. Or, oh, yeah, yeah. That's so cool. Hornfeld's observations. This is incredible. At first I thought the points of light in the image were stars, but they're not. They're galaxies. And this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. Guys, science is fucking crazy, right? Ugh, I think I need to sit down. Yeah. Yeah, you do. This sounds odd. According to my redshift calculations, every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. This is all real life shit. In fact, the farther away the galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away. This is all real. This is all real life shit. I have read all of this. It's almost as if their entire universe is expanding. Yes, it is. But if that's true, was everything closer together in the past and how far back can we extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? Oh my god, I got chills. Oh, oh, I just fell. That gave me chills. What's up, bro? There you are. I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Know My Translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Know My. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Can you imagine a day in history when, when like, this is happening, right, for, uh, for, like, humans, where we actually find something out there? How crazy of a time will that be? Space is fascinatingly terrifying. Yes. You know what else? I got... So, here. Give me one second-ish. Give me one second. I'll come back to that point. Um, tell me, what's your plan once you go into space? I'm going to learn more about the Nomai. I'll meet up with the other travelers. I want to go somewhere no one's gone before. Ooh, I think that's me. I think I'll start with something small. I don't know. I'm going to wing it. I don't... I want to go where so, no one's gone before. I like it. You'll have plenty of options to choose from. No one's ever landed on the interloper before, you know. Perhaps you'll find... You'll be the first. I must say... Should you choose to go to the Dark Bramble, be very careful. No one's explored there before, either. For what you'll find are excellent reasons. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to get off this rock. I'm ready to die in space. Um, before I click this, ish. You know what I, I wonder, right? I, back, back a few years, back like seven years ago, eight years ago, uh, when me and my wife went on our honeymoon, right, I took scuba diving lessons, and I remember having just, like, the time of my life, right? It, it was a lot of fun. It was really cool learning all this stuff and being under the water and, and like, um, uh, and everything was fine until the moment, until the moment. The other guy, thank you so much for the follow. Until the moment that I got to the seashell or whatever where it just, like, it just, like, goes, 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 and then drops off. And all you see, you look out, right? And all you see is blue nothingness. And then when you look down, just black, right? And my heart, like, sunk. And I was like, holy shit. And to me, that's probably a lot like what being in space kind of feels like, you know? 
The Terror of the Void. Exactly. Exactly, Garland. I was like, I legit was like terrified. Just suddenly. The whole rest of the time, I was swimming around just having a great time. But as soon as I got to that ledge and I looked down and I saw just nothing, I was like legit terrified. That's a no from me. I have major uh, thalassophobia or however you spell it. Yeah. It was a, it was an, it was a interestingly terrifying moment for me. And I, I kind of imagine that space is a little bit similar to that, only compounded infinitely, potentially. Oh, it was crazy. Well then, looks like we're all ready to go. Yep, I'm ready to get off the truck. Excellent. You'll be needing the launch codes then. Here they are. Best get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship. Uh, good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. All right. Launch codes. Oh, it's like a... Uh, it's like a uh, Morse code. All right. Yo, Ken, been AFK because of work emergency? Oh, shit. I hope everything's all right, Slate. Excuse me? So itchy. I hope everything's okay, Slay. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> True words have never been spoken. Launch tower. This way. What's up? Hey, hey. So did you get a good look at the Nomai statue? The statue looked at me and opened its eyes. The statue was glowing. Why was it glowing? Whoa, whoa. The statue was doing what? So its eyes opened and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around you? You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch? Like, medically speaking? No, that statue is definitely weird. You know what? Don't worry about it. Maybe you should sit down for a bit and take it easy. I'd hate for anything bad to happen if you tried to launch while you're not feeling great. But hey, when you are ready, you can make the most of the translator tool, sniff, and can't... Wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> I can't believe it's all grown up and leaving this for space already. For real, though, I'm glad you're the one carrying it and not, like, Ryback. They'd fall... or they'd fall on it for sure. Say, if you want to do a short trip just to get your space legs under you, you can check out the ruins on Adelrock. I'd love to learn what those are. Good luck. Safe flying. The ruins on Adelrock. Let's check it out. Isn't the space th the launch pad above us? Where are we going? Unfortunately, space, our real space, is very, very large. It's such a low chance of crossing paths with someone else. Yeah. Yep. Very true, Garland. <clears throat> Very true. This looks dangerous. That's the space. I'm going the wrong way. Hello, astronaut. Are you going into the space today? Are you going into space and never coming back like Feldspar did? That's pretty disturbing. But Hornsfels uh, says no one knows what happened to Feldspar. Horns, Hornfels says they got lost in space, and though they were the best pilot ever. You're not as good as Feldspar, so you should be really careful not to get lost. Uh, thanks for that. Alright, I guess I go up that way. This music... Oh, I was going the right way? Seamus, welcome to the channel. How are you doing? I was going the right way? I was going the right way. All right. All right. How you doing today, Seamus? Thanks for checking out the channel, dude. Guys, for those of you new here, um, I do post all of my VODs to YouTube. 
So if you want to check out something that I've done in the past or played in the past, um, the uh, the link to my YouTube is in the channel. In the chat. If you're interested. We also have a Discord. Okay, this way. <laughs> 